Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about custom applications in StealthWatch. This is going to be a really short video, but I'm just going to kind of show you what, uh, how you might define a custom application for a certain server or uh, service and port. So um, in order to configure a custom application, this might be like a application server you have or something you want to differentiate than just a random TCP IP port um, or TCP or UDP port going to a specific server or, or group of hosts. So in order to configure that uh, custom application, you would go to configure and then applications. And as you can see here, these are the StealthWatch applications that are predefined. As, and um, if you have something like, a, uh, I think, believe about a couple hundred that are predefined just based off of uh, you know, ports where it's going to. But um, if you have a flow sensor out there, it's also, I think that's up to like a thousand or something along those lines because it does deep packet inspection. With the um, custom applications, let's go ahead and add a custom application now. I'm just going to call this one, um, you know, this one might be, for example, Jabber. And I'm not going to worry about the, app, uh, about the uh, description, but you know, a port might be, if you're using like a custom port of, you know, 4,000, you know, UDP. And it's going to, you know, a group of servers. So let's just go ahead and, you know, make up a IP address for this. So it's going to be, this is like my Jabber server. And if I wanted to do deep packet inspection, you know, classified based on, you know, another uh, defined, uh, you know, defined uh, service like Jabber, for example. So if you have a flow sensor out there and it does a deep packet inspection of the actual raw data, it also knows to look for that in, on that port to that server. Uh, you don't have to put something for DPI classification, but it's a little bit nicer if you want to just have an extra layer of, uh, of context there. So I can go ahead and add that to the rule, but I can also just have it be port, you know, let's say 5600 UDP. Actually, 4,500 UTP probably wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be uh, for uh, Jabber, but bear with me. So you can have it be and or uh, or rules. So as you can see here, this could just be the cus defined custom application. It could be just a port and protocol going to a specific IP address, and anything going there as a, and that's the server IP address that is going to be the um, uh, defined as a Jabber application. Or you can, you know, of course, combine all those things plus the DPI. With that being said, you know, I, as I said, this is going to be a very short video. Once I save this, any new traffic that's seen going to those, uh, to those, to that server, on that port and protocol, or with that with the packet inspection showing that's Jabber, will now be defined when I do, uh, you know, application, uh, like when I do a. Um, uh, monitor the host groups or look at the top applications it's going to be its own custom app uh, separate application not just a bunch of tcp or udp traffic that's clumped into everything else so with that being said um, just kind of wanted to show a quick overview of how you would create these custom apps um, i don't really have one in my in my environment right now but i just wanted to give you guys an idea of how you would add that in there well, thank you for watching and I'll be making a lot more videos soon.